Hello everybody, this is King David here with an important announcement. Some of you may know this news, some of you may not, but I'm here to tell you that after living in Korea for now 10 years, uh, it's time for me to move to another country. Japan. So this news is both very happy, but also very sad news. Happy because I'm going there for a better job opportunity, a great job opportunity, uh, and I'm going to get to experience a whole new culture, a whole new just um, set of values and get to know a con that country better and also experience the great food that they have to really see what the great things those country has to offer. But also sad news because I'm going to be leaving this country that I've lived in for 10 years now and that's Korea. Um, I'm going to have to say goodbye to a lot of good friends that I made in that process. I'm going to have to say goodbye to my family. Especially uh, considering just I've done most of my growing up here in Korea. I've been here since high school and now fast forward 10 years now. Uh, yeah, a lot has happened. <laughs> I first came to Korea just uh, hating the country. Just absolutely hating it and despising everything about it. But now... Um, yeah, I've grown to love this country and just um, love the things that it has to offer and the people here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a lot about this country. I guess the positive thing is Japan's not too far away from Korea. Uh, it's just like right there. It's like an hour and a half plane ride away. So, you know, whenever I have time, I could always, you know, come back here and visit. Yeah, but there's still that element of, despite all the excitement there is for this new opportunity, uh, there's also just some nervousness, some anxiety that um, comes along with it. I guess it's because I'm the first in my family's generation to move somewhere and move somewhere abroad and work there and live there in a country that's not really familiar to anyone in my family. Yeah, I mean, there was America and all that, but you know, America, a lot of us are familiar with. A lot of people in my family are familiar with, uh, considering that we lived there during my childhood as well. Um, and we also speak the language and stuff, but uh, moving to Japan, it's a whole different story because one, I'm not really that proficient in the language. My Japanese is good enough where I can get around. I can go from point A to point B. If you know, I need to make like a particular request. I feel like I can ask for it. But in terms of like the advanced Japanese, like for example, medical terms, like what happens if I'm by myself and I get really sick or some medical emergency happens. And I don't think my Japanese is proficient enough where I can go to a hospital or call uh, an ambulance and tell them of the problem that I'm experiencing or you know I don't think my Japanese is good enough where if something breaks down in my house what am I gonna tell them I'm just really nervous of just if an emergency happens and I'm by myself what the heck am I gonna do and how am I gonna communicate that how is that person going to communicate that solution to me in a way that I can understand it and so I gotta step my Japanese game up I gotta study. Like for me here in Korea, whenever I encountered a problem, I had my family I can turn to to help me. Whereas in Japan, it's gonna be the first time where I truly feel like a foreigner, where there's gonna be times where I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna have to start from scratch essentially, find a new group of friends, a new community. Uh, I'm gonna have to like change my way of life there and everybody experiences this to a degree and that's culture shock going to a different country or culture and just having struggles adapting to it i mean for me i think over time i'm pretty confident that you know i'll get over that hump and really adjust to the culture a lot of people have told me that i'm gonna adjust to the culture well that the country of Japan is really going to be a good fit for me. I feel like, you know what, I, I, I agree. I, I think Japan is going to be a great place for me, a great time for me. Would I have liked to stay in Korea and stay safe in my own comfortable bubble? Yeah, a little bit. Part of me, is, it's, you know, it's very difficult for me to leave the place that I've known for such a long time. I think we all as people, as humans, like to be in comfort and we are just in this never-ending search of trying to be comfortable, trying to strive for financial stability, financial comfort, to have relational comfort in, you know, marrying someone and having a family. We're all trying to be comfortable in any way, shape, or form. When 
an opportunity presents itself for us to leave that comfort, it's gonna be hard for sure. And so just know that this YouTube channel is not gonna stop. I'm gonna still be making more YouTube content. Uh, be on the lookout for that. And also just um, content exclusive to Japan. Japan exclusive content. Mm. I appreciate all your guys' support up until this point and in the days to come. Yeah, it's sad to say goodbye to a lot of you. Yeah, I'm just excited for the amazing things God has prepared for me in that country. So I hope that not only will I see it, that you guys will see it as well. Uh, just this whole experience of living there, living abroad is going to further develop my character, further develop me as a person. I'm excited to share that experience with you all. So yeah, this is King David saying, see you guys later.